Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning, June the 21st, and I am going to be filling in this week for Jimmy Slick, who is taking a little R&R &R down in Florida with his family. So we wish him the best and hopes that he has a very relaxing vacation for the next uh, couple of weeks. You know, as I begin the devotion this morning, I have a confession I need to make. I'm a treasure hunter. That's right. I'm a treasure hunter. Now, I used to think I was a collector, but I soon found out that it was more of a thrill to me to search for something, to seek after something, to go looking for something and find it and enjoy it for a minute and then turn around and sell it for more than I bought it. That's when I realized I was a treasure hunter and not a collector. And I'll get up on Friday and Saturday mornings at 5 o'clock in the morning, and I'll get out and I'll go yard selling. Why? Because I'm seeking, I'm looking for that treasure uh, that's just waiting for me to find it. Also, too, I have a metal detector, and I love to take that metal detector out and search for coins and all kinds of other things in the ground. Why? Because of the thrill of finding that treasure. But, you know, I found that after I had that treasure for a little while, it doesn't mean anything, and I get rid of it. This week, we're going to be looking at a passage of Scripture found in Matthew, where Jesus talks about treasures. And he talks about storing up those treasures and finding those treasures and looking for those treasures. And what are we to do with those treasures? Where do we put them? Do we keep them? Do we give them away? What do we do with those treasures? And this week, this passage of Scripture, Jesus, I think, gives us what I would consider probably the most important advice in the life of a believer when it comes to treasures. I hope you'll stay with us because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at one verse this week Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, a very familiar passage. We also are going to find out and understand the context in which that verse is placed here in the sixth chapter of Matthew. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. You know, in this passage, Jesus starts out by talking about treasures. In verse 20, or in verse 19, he says, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in or steal. That is the context in which Jesus then shares this very important verse in verse 33. But he also goes on and he talks about um, he talks about the fact that you and I cannot serve two masters. And he talks about that in the context of money. And then he also talks about worry and anxiety. And he says, listen, you guys get all worried about what you're going to wear and what you're going to eat and where you're going to live. But I've got all of that. That's your needs, and I can take care of your needs. He goes on down further and talks about faith and trust. But then here in verse 33, he ends this discussion about treasures, about money, about masters, about serving, about trust, about faith. And he closes it out with this verse, and he tells his disciples, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Well, we're going to look at that verse, and we're going to under, try to understand what it means. But as I close the day, this devotion this morning, I want to close with a question. And that is, what is this passage really about? If you, had to, if you had to come up with one word that describes 
the meaning and the truth about this whole passage in chapter 6 of Matthew, what one word would you come up with? Maybe you would say, well, this passage deals with treasures, those things that we keep and hold on to and that we think are important and that we treasure. And, and it's dealing with what do we do with those? Others of you may say, no, it's really dealing with what our needs are, you know, and not to, you know, and to look to God to fulfill our needs. Others of you may say, no, it's talking about masters and servers and, and the fact that we can't serve two masters. We can only serve one master. And so maybe the word you would use is masters. Some of you might say, no, it's all about money, all about money. And the fact that most people in America today, all we're doing is chasing after money. It's all about money. And, and what God wants us to understand about what really is important, and money's not it. Maybe. Some of you may use the word eternity. Maybe this passage is about eternity because he says, store up your treasures in heaven. And then maybe it's about eternity. And what's most important is that you and I are living now for eternity in the future. Some of you may say, no, it is all about worry. That's the number one problem with people in America today is worry, anxiety, stress. And this passage is all about worrying and how we're not to worry, but we're to trust God for everything. Well, I would say to you, you're all right. Every one of you are. If you used any of those words, you're right. This passage does deal in some respects to each one of those things that you've just said and how all those things are working together. But for me, since I'm the one doing the devotion this morning, I'm going to give you the right answer. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, seriously, though, for me, the word I would use is the word priorities. That's right, priorities. You know, in our lives, we all make choices. And our choices are based on what's most important to us. What you and I value, what you and I consider as something worthy of our time and our energy and our money and our talents, that's what we go after. That's what's priority. That's what's number one on our list, isn't it? I've always said that, you know, I can look at someone's calendar, their bank account, and what they talk about to determine what their priorities are. Think about that for a second. If, if certain things are the most important things to us, it's going to take probably the bulk of our checking account. Also, too, our calendars are going to be filled up with the best dates for those things that are the most important to us. And we're going to talk about those things that are the most important to us, aren't we? Absolutely. And here in verse 33, Jesus starts off by saying, Seek ye first. Seek ye first. In other words, priorities. First, number one, top priority. The top most important thing. What is it? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow we're going to dive deeper into that first phrase in verse 33, and that is, Seek ye first. And what does that mean? You have a great day. Let the Lord take his passage of scripture today and let it get into your soul this week. Meditate on it. Memorize it. Very easy passage to memorize. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Or memorize, memorize that verse. Meditate on it. And let's learn some things. Let's go a little bit deeper than just the surface this week. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you in the morning. Have a great day.